At the start of the 20th century in America, women couldn't vote or go to college. But even before films had sound, they had a pioneering star, Mary Pickford. Long ahead of her time, Pickford wasn't afraid to demand pay equal to her male counterparts or take on the Hollywood studio machine. Born Gladys Louise Smith in Toronto in 1892, Pickford was performing on stage by age eight at the urging of her mother after her father had abandoned her family and they needed the money. At 15, she landed her first part on Broadway and changed her name to Mary Pickford. Two years later, she auditioned for a role on the big screen for director D.W. Griffith. She didn't get the part, but Griffith was so impressed with her that in 1909, he signed Pickford with the Biograph Company. That year alone, she starred in more than 50 films. Even though they didn't record sound, Pickford made it a point to memorize all her lines. And she took an interest in every aspect of filmmaking. When the enterprising actress wasn't performing for the camera, she wrote movie scripts for $25 a piece. Pickford was the original America's sweetheart, and she was one of the world's biggest stars, rivaling Charlie Chaplin in popularity and eventually in pay. On June 24, 1916, she became Hollywood's first million-dollar actress and added producer to her credits. That's when she signed a contract guaranteeing her one million dollars over two years and her company, Pickford Film Corporation, the rights to produce all of its own films. While estranged from her first husband, actor Owen Moore, Pickford fell in love with one of silent film's biggest stars, Douglas Fairbanks, who was also married at the time. In 1919, while the two screen stars waited out their respective divorces, they joined with Charlie Chaplin and E.W. Griffith to form United Artists, an independent distribution company which bypassed the big Hollywood studios and put financial control in the hands of the creatives. In 1920, Pickford and Fairbanks married and became Hollywood's first power couple and were known to throw lavish parties at their Pick Fair estate. Though Pickford would call Fairbanks the love of her life, the marriage would last only a few years. The late 1920s saw the birth of the talking picture and Pickford's first film, Coquette, won her an Academy Award. But within a few years, she retired from acting at age 41. She stayed involved in the industry as a producer and later helped establish the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In 1937, Pickford married actor Charles Buddy Rogers and the couple were together until her death in 1979 at the age of 87. In 1976, the Academy presented a Lifetime Achievement Oscar to one of its founding members. In today's world, when women are still fighting for equal pay, both inside and outside of Hollywood, actor, filmmaker, and actor's rights advocate, Mary Pickford, was truly ahead of her time. <laughs>